you're welcome to my channel mindset academy where we want to develop the given view that is displayed at the left hand side of the screen the first thing you have to do is to reproduce the view that you can see at the left hand side of the screen now if you notice it is inclined at an angle of what 60 degree to the horizontal right so what you're going to do you're going to make use of your 60 degree c square which is this that we have here right so when you do that i'll place it this way and i'm going to draw my 60 degree in this manner just watch and see i'll just draw a long short long short long short long short long short and long right that's the first thing you do now the next thing you're going to do is to measure a thickness of what of 40. now if you have to do that use your horizontal line right i am going to measure what a thickness of what 40. So if I should put it this way, I'll measure just first of all use a faint line this way first. Can you see that? This is where it is. So I will now measure 20 to this side and 20 to this side, just like I did in the previous video. So if I place it this way, now I'll just take my instrument and I'll measure half of 40, which is 20. And I'll come here, I'll mark 20, and I'll mark 20, right? Now, since I used 60 degree to project this center line you see, I'll also use that 60 degree to actually get this also. And also get this also. Can you see that? Now we know that. From here to here is thickened all together, and the next thing is the height is given to be 45. So, this is where I'm going to measure what and height of what 45. So, what I'll do is I'll move this a little bit upward, front line, and I'm going to measure 45 at that height. So from zero, this is 45 here. So this is where I am going to project to that point. Here, that is the 45 I need. So I'm not measuring it inclined this way because we did this way to be more than 45. You need to measure it vertical and you project that point to this point here. So if you, if you look at that angle, the angle there has what 45 degree. So I'll just place my 45 degree size square, which is this I have here. And I'll just move this to this point. So it's going to touch, pass through that point I measured in this manner. So I'll take in it. And I'll close it up. And I'll also close it up too. Oh, you can see that. Place my compass here. I'll just draw any circle that will give me what I want. In this fashion. So we can see that and I am going to divide it into as many parts as I want to divide it. I'll come here to I'll use this, I'll get this. This is what I need. So I use this to get this, place it on your T-square. This way. And I'll turn it the other way around too. To get this, then I'll stand it up to 
to get this and i'll turn it here too also we already have this then the last but not the least is the vertical one which is this can you see that so another way to do it is just place your compass here mark up come here also mark up place at this point mark left and right so you can do it that way also so now instead of projecting this point upward so this will be zero here will be one two three four five six five four three two one so you start taking them in this direction this will move to touch here this also will move to touch here end line this will move to touch here this also will move to touch here we have the rest so the next thing we are going to do is to start projecting it in this manner are we there so if i should project it in this manner i want it to everything to come like this so if this is 60 you have to project it with 30 so that it will rhyme with the parallel line so whatever is coming here must be 90 degree so taking so i used this 60 let me increase the thickness here to see what i'm talking about this is what we have so since i use this to project it i will use this to move it the other way around so this will come in like this this also will come in like this so before that let me just take the highest point this is the highest point here and here also can you see that and i will draw a line close to this placing my t-square in this fashion so i'll draw a line close to this so this point here this is the beginning this is where i'm opening it from I'm opening it this way so this here is zero here meaning here also is zero right and here too is zero so from here i'm going to divide this into 12. so place your compass this way and you come from here and you start one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11 12 so I will now use my instrument what I used to draw this can you see that this is it on your T square I'll get this this way also get this this way also this So this will be zero, right? We have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Now, this is point zero. I will join both of them together. Zero to zero. 
right where zero meets zero and also meet another zero here also zero to zero can you see that because we are opening it in this manner so we we'll move forward this is the line of one i'll project the line of one so let's project the line of one using the same guy here so i'll come to where one is i'll project i'll come to where the other one is here i'll project can you see that so this is the second this line you see we're projecting the other one where one meets one is here and where one meets one also is here similarly where one meets one is here right this is where one meets one here so we have one and we have one here too let's not get it twisted and here also one and one the next one is two this is a line of two here i'll project it here the line of two i'll project it here so we have two meet two and also where two meet two where two meet two where two meet two because this is a line of two I'll come again, so this is 1, this is 2, this is also 2, this is 1, this is 2, this is 2, and this is 1. I'll come again, go to 3. This is the line of 3, and this is also the line of 3. So we have 3, means 3. This here. And three again here means three is here, so this is the line of three. Right? And also this is the line of three, also three is meeting three here. And also three is meeting three here. Line of three. I'll go to the next one. Four. Where four line of four. Right? So this is where four meets four here. This four, this four, four meets four, the line of four meets four, and also here too. Then we'll go to five. Five meets five here, and five meets five here. This is another five here. Okay, sorry. Come here, it's still many one. So this is where four is here. And this is also where four is here. Then the other one is five. Then we have six here. And this is six. So I'll just join it with my French curve. In this fashion. Can take three first. Then add out three again. Right. Then um Take another one again here. Then another one here. Take three. Take another three. Then take another three. Yeah. 
you come here you take this take three first Take three. Come here also. Three. Uh, what we have that again when you develop this figure this is what you'll be having so if you have found this video helpful please don't forget to like subscribe and also share the video thanks for watching